What's up guys, in this video we're going to be talking about MIDI clips. Kind of the same as audio clips, but kind of different. So what we're going to do is we're going to select an area, we're going to right click and then insert MIDI clip. And we're going to drop a VST instrument. This is South 1, it's uh, the usual suspect really. Um, so yeah, we're going to look at our clip at the bottom here and our clip is over here so yeah this is pretty cool so what you have is in you have pretty much the same thing you don't necessarily have warping but you have uh, your little piano roll here and you can you know move this up and down you know start loop position and uh, you can scale around um, one thing I want to mention is you can use your computer keyboard like QWERTY keyboard as a keyboard by pressing this little button up here and uh, using your home row so and whatever you press uh, is red on here. So uh, we're going to click on our little pencil tool and uh, select an area. What we can do also is uh, say, uh, yeah, let's go 16th. So we'll have that blank twice. And... We'll turn that off and then we'll select and duplicate and then duplicate that and we can select and move these down very fun so what do we have here right. and uh, that's basically how you input MIDI notes so MIDI is just data and it does not carry audio. It just tells things what to do. It's been around for about 30 years. You can have Ableton tell a modern synth what to do, upward synth, uh, an ex, uh, internal synth. Um, you can have program automation changes. Uh, you can have it change a synth, digital synth that's 10 years old, 20 years old, 30 years old. And MIDI is so robust that, you know, 30 years from now, we'll have a uh, software that'll still work with, you know, gear like this around me. It's quite versatile. Uh, but again, it does not carry data. It carries, uh, it can send clock data, which is kind of a metronome, beep, 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 beep. And it'll tell, say, uh, the synth uh, LFO rate. If you sync the LFO rate, it'll sync to it. It'll sync your drum machines. What else will it send? Uh, sends well note which note you're pressing and how uh, how hard you're pressing it so we have a velocity here and this is basically how hard you press the MIDI note what you can do is you can bring that down so right and you'll notice that the actual note gets lighter which is great so say if you have that and that's your that's your MIDI that you're working on here and you want to kind of zoom in and edit you can actually click fold and only the notes that are relevant that you are using are present so you can select and delete some of them right and that's all well and good what we can do now is we'll go yeah we'll go left to right same thing uh, you can change the color of the clip we can select uh, an area and we can uh, half it so it does that we can make it longer we can actually make you know the whole thing longer that just makes it longer um, uh, we can reverse the entire MIDI clip we can invert the scale we can select only a certain part and then invert that. Right? Uh, we can move things around. We can force legato. So we can make all notes kind of touch each other. And you'll see that right now. Three, two, one, bam. Right? And you can really hear that if you have like a, a plug or whatnot. Uh, and you can actually duplicate loop. So it'll copy it over. So you say, okay, I copied it over. And then I can move this up. Or I can move it a uh, full semitone up. So sem semitone, a full octave up. So what you do, you can move this a full octave up uh, by holding shift and pressing up. So now, what we have to do, we have to make this longer. 
am. I got that. So. Right. So now we're 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 getting to business here. Um, one thing that MIDI does is we can change the program uh, via uh, MIDI message. So a bank that'll change the bank. Uh, for example, uh, South One has four banks. Uh, the virus has uh, banks A through H, um, and a few other banks. We have uh, eight banks on the JP, and different since have different amounts of banks, and you can have it set to uh, change a bank through here, right? Right. So what we can do is we can duplicate that. We can have this going to yeah bank three, uh, program five, and we can have this one go to bank seven or bank. To program nine. You can hear that now in theory. So we're changing the bank. You know, as an example, so you can uh, have one synth doing kind of multiple things. So what we'll do is we'll set it so it's not changing banks or anything like that. Uh, yeah, start and stop. This is your loop kind of position. You can change it by dragging this guy around. Oops. Uh, and your start stop time. Of course, you have your velocity here. Um, yeah, so we have uh, our envelopes here. Now, this is um, the same thing as the audio envelopes, but a little bit different. Uh, we have all of these. Now, these are all MIDI CC messages, right? These are, some of them are default. So, modulation is the the wibbly wobbly mod wheel. See, there it is. See, I'm moving it on the virus keyboard here, but it's the mod wheel, right? And you can map that to say mod wheel is mapped to resolution uh, resonance. And your pitch bend, you can bend your pitch. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of that. We're just going to look at this for now. We have our pitch bend, and uh, right now it's at absolute zero, which is the center position. So what I'll do is I'll just put a marker here and then put a marker here. And yeah, you know, whoops, undo. I'll just move that up. So this is the pitch. So it's bending the pitch up and down via MIDI messages. You can hear that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new MIDI track just so you can hear this. So, and I'm going to init. Don't worry about this right now. We're gonna get into this a little bit later. So I'm gonna just turn off envelope because you can't insert notes in envelope mode. So this little button down here, we'll click on that. There we have that. So I'm going to have pitch bend so we can do that. And then we'll have uh, a sound that rises up. And that's pretty fun. Uh, and you can send other kind of messages, which is pretty cool. Um, foot pedal, uh, portamento time, volume, balance, uh, your controller, panorama, um, and all these other th fun things. Depends, depending on the synthesizer, if you're using an outboard synthesizer, um, uh, you have to kind of look up what uh, MIDI CC effects, uh, like say a filter cutoff and stuff like that. It's different for each synthesizer and uh, all that. Um, but generally, if you're using, say, you know, South One, you have your cutoff filter here, you'll just automate it on the main kind of lane here, and you'll do that, right? And then it'll be in the the actual automation lane, not in the envelope, the clip envelope. Uh, you can't necessarily, for a lot of sense, you can't uh, have an envelope for the mod wheel. It's sent through MIDI only. Um, and yeah, that is... MIDI. Uh, so yeah, a few things about MIDI is velocity and values in general. It's a value between zero or 1 and uh, 127. So between 0 and 127, that is that dictates uh, knob, um, knob values. So all the way to the left is 1, and all the way to the right, if you turn the knob all the way to the right, it's 127. So a value all the way at the top here. Just an example. It doesn't matter what it is. The value all the way at the top is 127. 
and all the way at the bottom is zero, right? So you'll imagine that it steps up through all those values, and that's how you have automation. Uh, the the resolution of MIDI data, it's kind of a, a shortcoming. Um, you get, you know, stepping, filter stepping in some sense, especially the Nord. Uh, but, you know, that's just kind of the, the things you have to deal with. Uh, but it's quite great. Uh, so velocity, you know, you'd have a uh, different um, velocity depending on how hard you press. The note, you'll see down here. I'll just press lightly. See, it's like right down at the bottom. And then I can press it harder, and it's all the way full velocity, right? Yeah, so just think of uh, MIDI as data. A value between uh, zero, or a value between 1 and 127. And different channels go into different things. And it's quite versatile, and you should familiarize yourself with it. But that is basically clip, the MIDI clip options and fun things. All right, hope you learn stuff and uh, take care.